Gain staging? What is it? How does it work? Can you eat it? What's going on everybody? Sean here from After Life Studios and today I'm going to show you how to turn a mix from this to this. Now, if you find that you're watching my content a lot and you're enjoying it, do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell. I do a lot of live streams and that's the best way to find out about them. With that being said, let's hop over to the computer and let's get started. All right, so here we are on the DAW. I went and recorded this little snippet of the track uh, over like the last 30 minutes or so. There is no gain or EQ or anything like that on it. Um, we're doing this solely for the purpose of learning gain staging. So what I've done is I've boosted the living nightmare of gain into this. Um, I'm gonna play it real quick. It's gonna sound atrocious, um, but you gotta know what sounds bad in order to fix it in order to make it sound good. So I'm gonna play it real quick. Uh, if your headphones are up loud, I would probably turn them down a little bit real fast. Wasting alone in the dark. Okay, so obviously that is boosted up for the point of emphasis. Um, but let's talk about what gain is. So gain is basically the volume or the sensitivity of each individual channel. Now on Logic, the way you'd get to the gain is once the channel has been created and there is audio in it, what you're gonna do is this little region drop down. Right here, there is a gain knob. And that's basically the same as the trim knob in Pro Tools, um, but that gives us the ability to change the actual gain of the track. So obviously a plus four gain right there is gonna be way too much for this track. What you're gonna be shooting for on most tracks is an average volume of negative 18 um, with the peaking at six. A lot of the analog plugins are going to want to see the gain at um, negative 18. And if we put it there, it'll sound dramatically better. So first things first, what we're going to do is let's solo the guitars because gain staging is not cr uh, creative. It's just solely getting everything where it needs to be in order to um, be able to mix the track. Now, these are both pan left and right. So if you only hear it on one side, that's why. So what we're going to do, I'm going to turn off my face cam so you can actually see the whole screen. And then I'll show you kind of like how to go about finding the correct amount of gain on each track. Here at the bottom, right here, we have a fader that tells us how much input is coming in. So what we're going to do is press play. Now, as you can see, it is super hot. So what we're going to do is bring this bad boy down until it hits more comfortable volume, which is probably right about there. Okay, so now this track on this one is gain stage correctly. If you notice, from this one to this one, there's a huge, huge difference in amplitude. Um, so let's go ahead and do the next one so that we can match them. Start it over. And then we're going to go and start getting that one down. Okay, now let's turn them both back on so we can hear. Okay, so already it's already sounding a lot better just by bringing that gain down dramatically. So on the drums, you even need to pay even more attention to the gain because they can be very explosive sounding. So what we're gonna do is go to this kick in real quick and we're gonna solo that and we're gonna bring that down to an appropriate level. Okay, so now that we have the kick, the kick drum, it's still kind of hot. Let's turn it down. Okay, so now the kick drum's sitting at an appropriate level. So let's bring in the snare. Turn off that. I don't need that. Just bring this down until it's sitting at negative 18 peaking around six. Okay, so that sounds nice. 
And then basically what you're gonna do is go through all the different tracks. Let's get this bottom snare. Just gonna be going through all these tracks, getting them to where they sit correctly on the game. Before you even touch any faders, before you do any kind of mixing, you're solely going to be making sure that everything is gained the proper way. So that's obviously hot as can be. We're gonna go through, get that where it's under control. Next would be the toms. Okay, so the tom. Next would be that tom. This tom's super hot, so we're gonna go and just turn that one down. And realistically, I didn't even use any toms in this, so I could just really just mute them all. Bop. Let's go to the room. That right there is awful sounding. Bring that down. Okay, let's bring it down a little more. Okay, so now let's do the kick out. Okay, so now we've got the drums all done. So now let's go to the vocals. Let's get these suckers. They're gonna be hot as hell. Wasting alone in the dark. I know that this is hard. Okay, so now that's gain stage as well. Now let's go to the bass and bring that bad boy. Wasting alone in the dark. I know that this is hard. Okay, so now that we went through and we got everything the right game, let's turn off the solo and let's hear the difference. Wasting alone. So going from that previous sound where it was just super hot, lots of stuff going on to a more controlled volume is huge. Now, another part of gain staging um, is making sure that they're not going too hot into the plugins, right? So making sure that each track is the right volume in order to be. Now, the other thing I do when I'm doing gain staging is I do volume balancing. So I usually do gain staging and volume balancing all in the same run before I put in any plugins, before I put in any EQ, before I put in anything. Um, I do realize, by the way, that there was some EQ and stuff like that on these drums. I use that when I'm tracking them so I can hear them a little bit better. Uh, but when I'm actually mixing them, I usually just start from scratch. I do the gain staging, so get everything to where it's not crazy, crazy loud. And if you notice, these are actually turned up, so it's even less gain than what you think. Um, so the resolution is, is much higher when they're like that. I'm doing that for demonstration purposes. Now let's go through and let's volume balance everything. Now that we've had this gain stage down and you'll hear pretty much a dramatic difference. It's shocking how much gain staging and volume balancing can make in a mix. And there's not even any EQ or reverb or, or anything on this thing. These are all raw tracks. Um, so pretty insane the difference that gain staging can do. And that goes for any genre. It doesn't matter if it's hip hop or rap or metal or uh, techno. It I mean, it doesn't even matter. Gain staging is, is the best thing you can do for any mix. And I would do it absolutely first. So let's go through and let's, we got our gain stage in the way down. Now let's go through and let's do a little volume balance. Is 
All right, so you get the gist. So basically, before I even do any EQing, anything like that, we're just going through and we're getting all the gain staging right. We're getting all the volumes right. We're making sure that everything is at the right volumes. Everything is not clipping. It's not too low. We're not fighting the noise floor and that we're not clipping it out in a DAW. Once you clip, it's done, especially on the way in. So I did all this with the, the plugin after the fact, so I didn't clip it on the way in. And essentially, once you clip it on the way in, if you're clipping your converters, that track is probably shot. Like you can't really do too much to it. It's done at that point, re-record. Before you start throwing plugins on, before you start doing compression, get the volumes right. I mean, it's shocking how much people do after the fact, instead of just volume balancing it, spending a lot of time making sure that the volume is balanced and that the sources are gain staged correctly. Um, it literally will completely make your mixes sound way, way better without having to do as much work in post. So a lot of times people are like, oh, the kick drum is too boomy, but it might just be too loud. So spend a lot of time in this. This is literally the secret sauce that will drastically, drastically improve your mixes. A lot of times it's not, it's not EQ, it's not compression, it's gain staging and volume balancing. Now, hopefully this was a very informative video. Gain staging is huge. So if we can get the gain staging right, the rest of the mix works super well and you can get a lot better sound. With that being said, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you would, do me a huge favor. And if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the notification bell, do me that favor. If you watch to this point, you're amazing. And with that being said, stay humble, stay hungry, something else inspirational, peace.